Dr. Gregory Chernoff joins us from Chernoff Cosmetic Surgery. Again, we are going to get a shoe cam coming up here in the next few weeks. He is rocking some incredible here loafers go. that <laughs> go quite well with this year's sucker. Well done, sir. Well put Thank together you. as always. Um, some people, they want to look a little bit more put together, particularly facially. So yes. the yes. eyes, they're, they're what draws people first, right? Usually when people look at us, they look us in the eyes, scan our face, come back to our eyes. And 20 years ago, my practice was 90% women, 10% men. It's 50-50 now. Okay. Because it's okay for you and I to want to look our best uh, as well. Uh, but, but with the eyes, that's, that's the first thing. And then, then people go back to that. And um, in, in, on my in-law's side of the family, there is like they actually jokingly semi-jokingly refer to the the basset hound lids no that, question <laughs> that are in my <laughs> wife and my sisters-in-law have inherited from their father and it can be something that you're because of the facial structure of the family or gravity's pretty much sure. uh, taken over right the way we describe it usually people come in uh, with comments that folks have made to them that have had a negative effect on their self-esteem. Oh, sure. And typically, you look tired, maybe? Yeah. You look tired or angry when you're not. Many times, patients have too much curtain around the window, and the curtain rods sit <laughs> okay. too low. Curtain on window. So, for the last uh, 20 years, we've done something a little different in that uh, I use a, a laser to make all of our incisions. Uh, when we're doing eyelids, we make a tiny little incision in the natural crease of the upper lid. If you have fat pads in your lower lids, we can sculpt those out from the inside of the eyelid. If we want to put the curtain rod or your brows back to where they can be, we now do that through a single little one-inch incision behind the hairline. Oh, wow. A little, TV, a okay. little TV camera smaller than my pen goes into that incision. And then we use a laser to divide the muscular connections of the brow. So that allows me to first put the curtain rod back to where it should be and then we can get rid of the excess curtain. Okay. So it's a one-hour procedure that is life-changing. Oh, okay. please, please correct me if I'm wrong, and I know you will, but the laser to me seems like it would A, be more precise, and B, just be a, uh, just a whole sure. cleaner effect. Because I know when people think, whenever people hear cosmic, uh, cosmetic surgery, they tend to think invasive. They, they tend to think stitching, and they exactly. tend to think long recovery time. So these are all considered minimally invasive sure. procedures right. with, with minimal risk, minimal pain. Most mm -hmm. of our patients are back on Tylenol. Here's a good example. You An amazing see, result. You can see the heads of her brows point downward. It gives her an angry look. Now in the post-op on the right, her, her brows are in a neutral position. We've gotten rid of the excess curtain around her eyes, but she still looks like herself. She yeah. doesn't look done. She just yes, looks more exactly, rested. Yes. She does, anytime you and I can tell that someone has had something done, that's not an aesthetically pleasing result. Mm -hmm. so you can see she, she just looks rested. Her eyes beam now. Uh, whereas she, and she came in saying, you know, people are asking me if I'm angry when I'm not because the heads of her brows are pointing downwards. Mm -hmm. So that, that's good for business negotiating and raising kids. Sure. But it, uh, right. <laughs> it, uh, it gives her a little bit of a, an angry look. Exactly. Another, another example where, again, you can see uh, the heads of her brows are pointing down where you, you can really see the fat pads of her lower lids that her eyeball sits on, and that mm -hmm. gives her the, the bags under the eyes. Are look. you tired, dear? Are you dear tired, tired yeah. when she's not? And if you hear that enough times during the day, it wears on you. Mm -hmm. So now, again, she just looks rested, but she doesn't look done. And again, we've used the laser uh, to make uh, the incision in the upper lid. We took the fat out from the inside of the eyelid through a little one-inch incision. We raised her brows, put That's them back amazing. to where uh, she should be. Stitches come out day seven, so most people just take a week out of their life sure. uh, from a healing You don't standpoint. have to do the Jack Yo glasses for th no. three to six weeks uh, and, and try and tell people that it's something else. Exactly. And, and, and that's the case with other procedures as well. They're not taking nearly as long as they used to because the procedures are so up to date. The technology has improved, all designed to get a patient back into action within a week. Sure, exactly. Put them back the way they look, the way they want to exactly. look, right? Exactly. Oh, my gosh. So Dr. Chernoff, drcherenoff.com, again, indiestyle.tv. You said it's more 50-50. Are, are, are a lot of the procedures that you're doing, are they gender specific or is it more like this, the, the eyelid where it, it, it doesn't matter, man or woman? From a facial standpoint, the most common combinations that we do again are, are, are brow lifts, eyelid lifts, face neck lifts. For men, we're doing a lot of bumps on noses, uh, still a lot of hair transplants. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Indiana is still one of the fifth worst states in the country as far as how people take care of themselves. So we still do a lot of non-surgical cool sculpting for mm -hmm. fat reduction as well as liposuction, breast and body contouring well. As I well. know a lot of people also are working very hard to try and be healthier, but they're not yes. seeing the physical results that exactly. are equal to the efforts, so then they get a little enhancement like that, right? And I think, as we had mentioned, that's another big misconception, is that the, the beauty of any of these procedures is that everyone will notice that you look your best, but they'll never know you've had anything now. that you've had anything done. Fantastic. So. Dr. DrCherenoff.com. We again have the link on IndieStyle.tv. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate Good it, to see sir. You. Dr. You know, you got the letters in front of your <laughs> name. Just use the name. Use them.